Glory to you. Amen. And time is coming on in tonight. We are in store for a treat. We thank God for you this year and you that's in internet land. We're blessed here upon, upon this rock holiness church, amen, where we find the spirit of the Lord is in this place to do great things. We are honored on tonight to hear from one of his handmaidens that he have chosen for such a time as this, amen. And it gives us great honor on tonight to present this, uh, this woman of God to you that you might hear from the Lord tonight, amen, that I know from my own self, Amen. It has been on the road a little bit here. And through it all, amen, she's found herself, amen, yet holding on and not giving up in spite of whatever has come. Look what the Lord has done. Amen. And just to talk with her on a day-to-day -day basis, amen, the inspiration and I mean the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That rest in the back. How many know that's what we need in times like these? Inspiration. Amen. One to the other. So on tonight, it gives us a great joy, privilege, and honor. Amen. To present the song, introduce the other. None other than our very own. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sister Valerie Brown as she come forth teaching the word of God. Let's give God the praise. Hallelujah.
When I prepared the food, I said, okay, God is prepared. Yeah. Now, God doing the rest. Yes. So I'm just going to give it the way he gave it to me. And so, y'all, I, I pray that it just be a blessing because it was a blessing to my soul. Yeah. But let's look away to the Lord. Yeah. God, we thank you for this night. Thank you for being a good God to us. Thank you for how you kept us all day long. It was nobody but you, God. We thank you for the mind you have given us even to come into your house one more time. We counted a privilege, a honor. Thank you, God. Some people didn't even wake up this morning. But we are so grateful to you, Lord. You woke us up and you had a purpose in mind for each and every one of us. So God, I'm asking you tonight that let this word that you have already prepared, let it be, oh God, let it be food to our souls. Help us to, to take it in and hide it in our hearts. God, that we will not sin against you. Help us, oh God. Help us to receive your word. Let it fall on good ground, God. And let it bring forth the fruit you desire to bring, God. And we will be so careful, God, to give you all the glory, give you all the praise, and we'll give you all the honor. We ask that you just even look up on the souls that might be even coming in. Let them come in on, on a good, on the food that, that help their souls, God. This word come to help us. This word come to build us. This word come to make us. So God, send your word. Take me and use me for your glory, God. And Lord, we will be so careful to give you the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. You all can be seated. You know, I'm just glad to be here. I was listening to the song that we were singing tonight. So we got a right to praise him. You all praise the Lord. You got a right to. You got to know that. And so it's, a, it's this word that God been just really uh, ringing in my soul, knowing. Knowing. You got to know. He got to know you. God was just, let me see something. I'm going to take my time. Look, we got to be known of Jesus. He wants us to be known of the devil. I mean, he wants the devil to know who we are. And he wants you to know who you are. See, he wants you to know. This is We, we walking through this life and... and Thank God for salvation. Yes. This word come to build us up and yes. to bring us to another level. Yes. You know, I'm not saying we ain't got God. Right. Right. This ain't saying we don't have him. Right. This ain't even saying we don't know him. Right. But we can always get to know him more. even the more. Yes. You know, we can get a close a relationship. Yes. I thank God for the word how it's been coming. You know, even the being blessed. Yeah. How the word came on us being blessed. How the word just been coming. Like, Oh, he have need of us? That's some good food. He have need of us. But on tonight, I want to just go ahead and get into this word. And, and I, I, I got some few points I want to touch on. And I'm going to back it up with the word of God. You know, we're going to go to, we're going to go to Acts 19, 11 through 15. You know, we're going to go to that and then... I've I, I got a lot of little tabs here I've made it myself, so I will, I said, God, I don't want to miss nothing. That's right. Give okay, we're in uh, Acts 19, and we're going to start at verse 11, and we're going to go down to 15. And God wrought miracles. Mm -hmm. oh, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the disease departed from them and the evil spirit went out of them. Mm -hmm. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits. The name of the Lord saying, we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. Let me go back right here. It said they took upon themselves. Uh -huh. That mean, that sound like they just did it. They did it without the Lord. Right. Now, when you go back to the 11th verse, let me go and finish it, because I don't want to get ahead of myself. It said, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. But who are you? 
in the man in whom, now we stop right there. Okay, let's go back to the 11th verse. Okay. It's a, and God wrote, God now, uh -huh. take note of that. Uh -huh. And God wrote spirit, special miracles by the hands of Paul. Uh -huh. It wasn't Paul. Right. You ought to be seated. Take this time. Take this time. It was, it was, it was God. Uh -huh. So that letting us know right there, you can't do nothing to yourself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because when you get down here to the uh, verse where it say, and they took upon them to call over, they took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus saying, we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. These people is, um, this is God, let me see something with this. If Jesus don't know you, then how do you think the devil gonna recognize you? If Jesus don't know who you are, the devil sure don't know who you are. Ain't that something? Now, you, this is to help us. Because God wanna use everybody in this building. He wanna take us and use it in, in whatever capacity. He use us. But we can't take it upon ourselves. We can't take it upon ourselves and just um, do it how we want. You know, we see something, it look good. And you just get on out there, we just want to do it. You know, that look good. And you take it upon yourself. No. You even got to be known of Jesus. Come on now. You know, and I was, I wrote the point, so Jesus don't know you. And Satan definitely don't know you. Uh -huh. Now, no means to have, a, de, de, have, to have developed a relationship with uh -huh. someone through meeting and spending time with. Uh -huh. Now, to know that Jesus wants us to have is a relationship. And when it comes down to the devil, now we don't want no relationship with the devil. Right. But he, when he talked about, he want him to recognize Jesus in us. Right. You know, he, that's what he want. We got to be recognized. And we can't do things. I'm talking, it, it, you know, you, you read in here and it seems so, they, people stand around, they stand around and, and, and look at like, oh, they, they moving. Oh, that look good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that look good. Uh -huh. I, I want to do that. Well, have you, do Jesus know you? Do Jesus know you? Do Jesus know you? You know, so it says they, and God wrought special miracles. God did this. God did this. That means we got to get a relationship with him in order for these spirits to recognize us. Now, that's one point I want I want I want to go to. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to Matthew the seventh chapter, and we're gonna go to twenty-two and twenty-three. It's say, and if, when you have it, just say Amen. You know I ain't gonna run off and leave you. It said Matthew seven twenty-two to twenty-three. Say, many will say to me in that day, Lord. Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never, look that word never, I never knew you. Depart from me ye that work iniquity. Never means at no time in the past or the future. Not ever. Not at all. Never he said he never knew, he never knew you. Uh -huh. Now you go back and what we just read, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and that's these people moving and these false prophets and people moving in the wrong spirit. Right. And so you can do that throughout your life. Yes, you Move around and do certain things. Yeah, I see it. Yes. You see people doing things, doing things, and then but you, what you we don't want to do is wait to the end. Right. That's going to be too late to get to the end and he said I never knew you. Because you was doing stuff I didn't even give you to do. Right. Right. I didn't give you to do that. Right. Uh -huh. I didn't give you to do that. Come on. Come and so, and then and, and, and when we, when, when Jesus when we, when we do what Jesus say 
that devil recognized it. He recognized obedience. Because over in the in the book where um it's over in when he told them the yeah. demons to come, they saw him coming, he told them come out them up. Right. He told that man he went up on that man had an evil spirit. Yeah. And they saw him. They saw him come and they say, do you come to torment us before time? Yeah. And then they asked him, they asked Jesus. They, they asked him, that let me know who was in control. The authority of Jesus. Yes. We, it's some authority come with Jesus' name. It's some authority come with it. Because they asked him, they said, could we, if, if, if you gonna cast us out. Now I'm sitting there reading I said, if. Y'all know y'all gotta go. But they asked him, they said, if can we go to these swine? Jesus ain't saying nothing, but go. That's right. He said, go. That's power. Yeah. Yeah. They had to go. Yeah. But as you read on down in that, the people didn't even receive. They wanted Jesus to leave their city. And the Lord began to show me something. He said, they, them demons had more respect than the people. They had more respect because they wanted him to leave. He didn't want him to leave. They didn't even appreciate him. You know, they wanted him to get about that city. But these, this spirit, these spirit, they were like they had to. They hung. Look at that. They hung. They had to act. Now, look. That's what God wants us to get to. When I say move, you need to move. Well, you know, we had kids. My son. I thank God, my son and my daughter being here. But uh, I remember, I would tell them, y'all get up and clean, you know, get up and do what you had to do. And they all just sit there. I just, look, I said, they didn't hear me. Right. They said, I didn't hear you. That wasn't enough authority. I went and got a bell. And I just hit them across their back and all of them. Then they want to know why I'm doing it. But see, that had some authority. That's what the devil got to do when we say, go. When we say, I bind you. When we say, loose him. They're supposed to do something. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if he's still standing there, oh, wait a minute. I need to go back. I need to go back to the altar and say, Lord, I need some more. Because they ain't moving. Now, wait a minute. Now, this is some of uh, this devil come to kill, steal, and to destroy. We got loved ones we want to see saved. We got co-workers we want to see saved. We want to see God do miracles because he come, He did them and he did them here. He the same God. So that's going to take some authority. It's going to take some authority and it's going to take a relationship. It's going to take have developing a relationship with Jesus. Getting to know he know who we are because he saved us but I'm talking about a deeper we're talking about going deeper. He know, do he know you do he know you in the in the sense that when he said do this, did you do it? Right, now you you see that he know us because he saved us. Right. And he bro, he but he he's a God of all knowing. But I'm talking about do he know he said, I never knew you. That's what he said. Right. He told him, I never knew you. Now when you when you okay, let me go here. They say, um, <laughs> They said that these devils, I wrote down these devils, they recognize and acknowledge Jesus. And they ask Jesus. I went over that. But this is an important point I want to remember. The devils knew Jesus, and because of the city, they had unbelief. The devils knew Jesus. I'm, I'm talking about the devils now. They know who he was. But because the people don't believe, they blind. And look at this. The same devil that gave God honor and humble, right. it's the same that will blind you. He's the same one that to give you to not believe when he come to deliver you. He's the same one. But he, look at him. He he said he he knew. He said Paul, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? Who are you? So now I said, God, I said that day. I thought about that thing, and I said, God, help us. Help me first. Let me let me go. Let, let me go. Um, let's go over to. Uh, let's go over to. Let me see Acts. And I want to go to. Oh, I, I did that. I did that. I, see, I'm, I'm just moving so fast. 
I'm moving so fast, but I wanna. I wanna. Um, I wanna. I want the, the the main thing I want to touch on is knowing. No, we want Jesus to know who we who we are. We want the devil to recognize the Jesus in our life, and we want to know who we are. You know, because it's very important. It's very important. It over in Acts, I mean, over in Matthew, the uh, 12, 12 verse, 46 to 50. 12 chapters. 12 chapters. 12 chapters. Okay. I should have had Lady Lisa to read for me. I can read. Yeah, read that for me. Hallelujah. 46. Yeah, to 50. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, mm -hmm. desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, yes. Who is my mother and who are my brethren? Stop right there for a minute. Now, he wasn't being partial. He wasn't being disrespectful. No. But he was letting, this was the point, he was letting them know. This ain't about family. This ain't about this ain't about that. It's who they, they came and wanted they they wanted Jesus to stop what he was doing to tend to them. But Jesus was like, that's your 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 mother and and your brother. They out to see. He said, who is my mother? Who do you know? Who and who are my brothers? Well, we would just say, well, you know, well, you know, sometimes you jump because it's family. Yes. <laughs> but when it got something to do with Jesus, All right. no, that ain't that ain't. It don't work like that. This ain't no family affair. Yeah, this is a spiritual family. Yes. Yes. You got a natural family and a spiritual family. Right. Right. So, 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 Lady Lisa, mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead and uh, finish going down to for me.
son, he always come when he knock on the door. Maintenance. He changed his voice. <laughs> he changed his voice. I had to look at the people. I don't know no, what the maintenance man doing. You know. So I'm just saying, you got to, Jesus got to know who you are. If we want to know who people are, what makes you think Jesus don't want to know? If you knock on, somebody knock on your door, you ain't going to let no stranger in your house. You're not going to do it. You ain't, you're not going to do it. I don't care. It could be somebody from 30 years. You're going to be like, have you ever read about somebody you ain't seen in a while? And they be like, I know, I know, I know you. And you be like, sometimes you meet people you you recognize their face and don't even know their name. Right. And they know your name though. They'll be, hey, how you doing? Pass the ball. And you be like, uh, uh, hey, bro, hey, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh hey, sis. You, don't even, you can't even say their name because you don't, you don't recognize them. Right. Now, what makes us think Jesus is going to allow anybody in? Right. You, you got to have a relationship. Right. He loves us. That's number one. He loves us all. He loves those that are saved, those that are not saved. He loves us. But he's not the type of God going to allow you to just just come and get in any kind of way. He's not going to allow you to do anything. He can't. He ain't going to do it because we won't do it. I remember on the message the other, uh, other night, Lady Lisa was saying how you don't, you don't want nobody that that don't do nothing, you know, you don't want nobody that don't do nothing for you. What you think, how you think God is? We got this, the message, what I want to bring home tonight is to know, get to know Jesus. A relationship, even if you know him, get a deeper relationship so you can be sure. You know, you can be sure. You'll make your call and election sure. That's what you want to, we, we, and that goes for all of us, not just a, a certain person, but all of us because he is a, he's a big God, a good God. And I'm telling you, we don't know, we don't, none of us know when Jesus is coming back. Don't none of us know the day or the hour. But what we do know is we want to be known and who want, who want Jesus to know them? Who want Jesus to recognize them? I'm telling you, you want to be recognized. You want when, when somebody recognize know you, they 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 had a relationship. Yeah, yeah I know her. She been with me. That's yep, right. I know I know him. He always with me. He always stood with me. Yeah, that's what you want to hear. You don't want to hear. Oh, never. Never, I ain't never. That word is something. Never, never at no time in the past Jesus. or the future. Not at all. That would never mean. Oh my God. That's what he said. You work it up iniquity. He ain't never knew you. Oh my God. When you just think about that scripture. Never. Never. That's it. Cause of the, and that's what you don't want to be doing either. You don't want to be doing things and he ain't giving you to do it. You don't want to do that because you find a lot of that going on. Yes, he he ain't call you to do that. True. If he say, Valerie, go and stand at that door for two hours, mm -hmm. and I go stand three, he ain't tell me to do that. Right. He said two. Mm -hmm. It's got to be lying on line, free cell on free. It's got to be just like he said. He ain't, that ain't how he is. People take the Lord lightly True. because he's so gracious. He's so kind. He's so forgiving. I mean, the, the grace of God be with us every day. His favor is upon those that really obey. He, he, he reigned. Look at this. He reigned on the just as well as the unjust. That rain do not, when I go outside, it rain on me and somebody that don't know him, it start raining. It don't rain on them. Everybody. And so that's how, how loving he is. But he want us to Get a relationship. If we don't have one, he wants us to get one. And if we do have one, he wants us to keep it. You know, and, and then we got to know who we are. We got to know that we are his, we belong to him. Because the enemy go, he'll come and tell you, you ain't nothing. You ain't gonna never be nothing. The Lord don't love you, even if you ain't where you want to be at. Even if you even if you made a mistake, that's okay. God is a forgive. Ask God to forgive. It's, God is concerned about 
the see the ones that know they doing wrong, and they just pining away and keep doing it. You know, and, and just keep doing it. That's what he said. Depart from me, iniquity. You know, but if you if you did something, and you like God, I'm sorry. I'm help me. He had mercy. But it's gonna come a time for everybody. I mean, this day coming, we don't know when. And this ain't the scare. This ain't no scare. Scary straight message either. This is a message that, that just letting us know. We love we know that the Lord loves us and we want to know him. And we want to get a relationship with him. We want to develop a relationship. We want to spend time with him. We want him to know us. We want to that when the, when we say, I bind you in the name of Jesus, we want the devil to recognize the Christ, not me. But the Christ is in me. And the only way he's going to recognize that is that you get time with the Lord. You spend time with him. And he'll spend time with you. And I'm talking about when you, when you say something, that things going to happen. The word is power. It ain't got nothing to do with the vessel. It's, we just yield it. But when you speak that word, I'm telling Jesus, say go. There ain't number two letters. G-O. But they had to go. And they asked, can we, they even asked him, can we go? Can we go there? He said, go. He, they asked him. Now ain't that something? They asked him. That's, a, that's authority. So I'm just, I just, I'm, I'm thanking God for even um, when he said the answer, the answer that we're looking for tonight is, He's, when he asked who, who, who is my mother and who is my brother, he said, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven. The same, this is the one I, I, I'm, 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 I'm related to. This is the one. So I am just want to encourage you all to just get to know Jesus if you don't. And don't, iniquity is sin. Iniquity is unrighteousness. People know when you, you know when you're doing wrong. You know when you, you doing people wrong. You know when you're doing whatever. But he, but we, you ain't got to answer the people. You got to answer the God. We got to answer to the Lord. So as a, a, a teacher, as a pastor, as an evangelist, whatever God give us to do, our, the job is to help people Remember who the Lord is and remember that we got all of us got something to do. Yes. This ain't just only one person. Right. Every time we wake up in the morning, yeah. we like Lady Lisa was talking the other day, she said, We get up and give God the glory. Thank him. Yeah. Yeah. Just even acknowledge him. Yeah. You know, he'll help you though. Hallelujah. He'll help you. Even Hallelujah. if you done went off track uh -huh. or you done went, God still he loved a, a contrite heart. He love a broken spirit. He love that when you talk to him and be like, Lord, you know what? I, I can't do this in myself. I need you though. I need you, but I can't I can't make it without you, Lord. I, I know I ain't been the best at this, I ain't been the best. Don't y'all know God here? I'm telling you, I'm a witness. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't even come in the church. And the Lord, I'm saying this because I want to help somebody. I didn't even, I was like, where am I going? I don't know where to go. Yeah. And I just started looking at it in the home. Mm -hmm. And then something just started happening. And I, and, and I ended up, God, Lord, if, if you would have told me, Sister Lisa, if you would have told me I've been standing here like a year ago, I would have been like, no, I wouldn't. Right. But God, yeah. look what God did. And this is what I did. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I didn't know where to go after Corona. Is that Corona or COVID? Whatever that is, the virus. When they came, I didn't know what to do. I went to different places. I was like, this ain't it. No, this ain't it. No, this ain't it. And then I walked in here and hope was being preached. And I saw I said, oh, let me go back in. <laughs> and then I said, like, it's kind of far. I don't, no, I ain't gonna go back. I look at them, keep it in the God started dealing with me. I said, Oh, and I said, if I miss, if I don't go, I'm going to miss this. If I don't go, I'm going to miss it. But it's hope. Yes. And so what I saw it doing, I'm, before it happened, I saw it crying. Mm. I was in my room, me and God. Tell, 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 tell. I said, Lord, mm. I don't know where to go. Mm. I 
Because I know they're preaching over there up on this rock. Yeah. I know they're preaching the word, but did you send me there? Mm-hmm. You know, when you don't know, yeah. ain't never wrong asking the Lord. That's right, that's right, that's right. Sincerely. That's right. Yeah. Sincerely. Yeah. Sincerely. Yeah. Because, look, I had to be sincere to look where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, God, what do I, what am I supposed to do? And I'm just sitting there crying. Don't, nobody but me and God know. Yes. We're the only one who knew that. Yes. Get up, go on, still watching. I, I couldn't even turn it off uh, up on the rock. Uh, YouTube, I was looking off. I couldn't even get away from up on this rock. I was secretly looking at That's how I know people looking at Because I was secretly. Somebody come in, I turned my phone a certain way. So, <laughs> this is how I was before. But then it started just grabbing me, the word. The Bible said that my sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they won't follow I started hearing the word, and like the pastor said, you ain't, he ain't tell you to, uh, the, the, the see it. Right. He said, yeah. mm-hmm. whether it's coming out of whoever, the, the word, you got to receive it. Yeah. Or you, if you want to live, if you want to be known to Jesus, you need to hear the word of God. Amen. If you want him to recognize you, because that's what he going to recognize is the word that's, right. that's down in you. Yeah. Obedience. Yeah. How you gonna uh, how he gonna recognize you if you don't get the word in you and then be doing the word? Cause it, this is through obedience. Right. It's being obedient to God, no matter what people say. Oh it ain't what people think. Right. It ain't what people. How they feel? Right. Do he know me? Right. Do Jesus know me? Yes. Did he tell me to do this? That's what you be concerned about. Yes. Because a lot of people, you know, and I'm, I'm gonna be ready to uh, close in a minute. A lot of people, you know, on uh, these social medias, they want a lot of followers. They want to be known by people. But do Jesus know you? Right. Because the breath you're breathing, yes. the life you're getting up in the morning, grab your phone, yes. first thing in the morning, mm-hmm. it's a spirit that they, and we all know that. Yes. Your phone ain't number a few feet away, you grab it, and, they, and you want to get likes. <laughs> but who woke you up? Come on now. Did you acknowledge the one that woke you up? Right. Because if it, if it had not been for Jesus, yes. you wouldn't even be able to pick up no phone. Right. If he didn't give you, if he didn't touch you and wake you up, it's a, going to sleep is serious. Yes. People don't even realize that. Because you're in a, you're in a dead state. Yep. You don't even know what's going on. And if God don't want to wake you up, he won't. But how you lay down, my, how you lay down? It's important to him to know who you are. It's important to get to know him. It's important to know him. And it's important for him to know you. It's important. The main thing is, because when Jesus know you, guess what? The devil know you too. Right. <laughs> when Jesus know you, the devil know you too. And then you walking in the power of God. You ain't walking in yourself because you ain't even got to be afraid. What Jesus is doing the walk. Right. Because them the brothers in the beginning they say how they got whooped. Them devils whooped them next. Because they want to do something that God didn't even get them to do. They, they want to go and he he whooped them next. That's right. Stay there. Now God don't do that. So you can't do something in yourself. This word is too powerful. God see us. God knows us all. Yeah. He knows what in that land. Yes. God knows all. He knows, all. He knows everywhere. Yes. So to to even one thing God would do, don't don't don't, don't you ain't gotta hide. Why you hiding? Right. That devil got you deceived. You think you hide? The Lord see you. Yeah. So it's but so the thing about it is this: if you don't know him, get to know him. Right. If you do know them, hold on to them. Yes. If you do know them, get more of them. Yes. You know, that's what we do. Let's get more of Jesus. Let's get more of him. He loves us. He don't want none of us to perish. He don't want none of us. He don't. He loves us so much. It's the devil don't mind us dying without the Lord. Because he don't want to come to kill. He come to steal. And he come to destroy. But God... He come to give us life and that more abundantly. Yes. Yes. Amen. 
So let's just just keep praying. I know I got ahead of myself on a lot of stuff. But you know what? The whole point was this. Knowing that word no. What you know about Jesus. <laughs> you know, that what you know. Who are you? That scripture said, who are you? These are things to remember. I never knew you. Keep that in mind. Keep this in mind. Who are you? You want you don't want the devil to ask who you are. You want him to know who you are. When you're walking with Jesus, he will. You ain't got to be scared of him. When you're walking with the Lord, Jesus walked up on them. They saw him coming to fall. They were like, they said, they want to know, can we go in them pigs? <laughs> you know, I like that. They had, I like that because that lets you know who's, at the, uh, who's in control. <laughs> That let you go. Now you can stand if you stand behind Jesus. Don't you know you're gonna be all right? Yeah. Because who you know on this earth can tell a demon to go <laughs> without Jesus now? Who who you know he telling asking us questions? He ain't asking us to do nothing. Like uh that on the message. Uh I'm I'm, I'm gonna quit trying to mess around with the message, trying to remember something. I ain't wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> let God do it. But, you know, I'm just saying we got to just let God, let God be the one. Stand behind the Lord. Yes, yes. Don't get out in front of him. Don't try to do nothing he ain't say do. That's what Whether you say or not. Right. Don't try to do, ask God about it. Yes. You know, he'll still help you. That's, That's what people, the devil don't want people to know. That God ain't just sitting on the sideline and want to just help the people that got to know him. Right. He came in for the lost. He came for all of us. He came and he still loves us. So I just want y'all to keep praying for me. I'm going to get to know him even more. Because it's greater works. You know, I ain't playing with the devil. It felt like a war zone when I came up in driving today. I'm like, what is this? And I remember what the words. I said, I bind you. Now, the, that car got went behind me. I said, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I, that was supposed to do. <laughs> that's exactly what it's supposed to do. When, when you ain't looking for results in the name of Jesus. Amen. Not in the name of Valerie. It don't work. In my own self, it don't work like that. And so when you're, if you, you'll know if you're walking with Jesus. You'll know if you're being obedient because you're going to see the signs going to follow you. Right. You know, if you see me and I get whooped, let's be honest. If I get whooped by the devil, I was doing something myself. I'm just being honest. Now, when you see the, the miracles and see things happening, then know that, that, that I got behind Jesus and said, go ahead, go, I'm behind you, I'm going to stay right here and let you, let you leave me out. So y'all, let's just keep praying for one another. Absolutely. Let's just keep on doing Getting to know God even the more. Yes. Getting in our secret closet. I mean, you know, when I didn't know no better, I went and got in the real closet. Before I got saved, right. I emptied all my clothes. Because it said it. It said, go in your closet. And I took all the clothes out and went in there and cried like a baby. But guess what? It got me saved, though. <laughs> you know, it, it got me saved. So y'all just, just keep praying. Let's just keep praying one for the other. And I'm going to just end it right here. And um, I pray that whatever, I pray that the word of God go with you yes. and be with you yes. and help you and remember it. I pray that God help you and help me too. Yes. So y'all, let's give God a praise. Give God a praise. God bless you. Come on, let's give God a great big hand of praise. Amen. I thank God for that message. Amen. All about knowing him. Thank God for his serving on tonight. Amen. The minister in our lives. Because truly, after even getting saved, we got to get to know him even the more. Praise the Lord. And it's good. That's, that's a message. That's a dual message. Amen. Even for those that those that may not be saved, it's all about just getting to know Him. Right. Amen. And one, the more you get to know Him, the better and better it gets. Right. Even after getting saved, the uh -huh. more you get to know it's Him, right. 
the better and better it gets. Amen. So we do thank the Lord for that message. Amen. Of enlightenment and power because this is what it's going to take. And I thank God for it because it lays close to my heart because I really believe in that, Sister Valerie, amen, that as every believer, amen, that power is to work within us to help other people, amen. So many got it all wrong thinking you're so saved, you're supposed to judge people and treat people wrong. That, that ain't what salvation's about. Amen. As you get to know Jesus, you're mindful of what he's done for you. Amen. As you get to know him, amen, that you can direct others. He's done it for me. He can do it for you. Amen. So God is counting on the church to get to know him. And them disciples spent three years getting to know Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for that message. God bless you and keep you is our prayer. Amen.